before the internet, the magazine was your way in. That's how you knew what was up. We are kind of like a preservation society for skateboard magazines. We take donations in of people's magazines that have maybe been sitting in their garage, their closet, their attic. We try and pull these magazines out of places where they aren't being seen, consolidate them, compile them into libraries. It just really was just in October, I think, that I was like, I could probably turn this into a, a nonprofit, focus on literacy, um, the you know the preserving of the skateboarding history that's that's embedded in all of these and and just keep building more and more libraries wherever there might be interest in it. I started skating in 1986 and that's when I got my first magazine, uh, a Thrasher from August of '86. Mark Gonzalez is on the cover. We have pretty much all, most everything that's been produced since then. There's certainly still some holes in early Thrashers. We have all the Trans Worlds. We have a few holes in low cards. We have all the slaps. We have all the skateboard mags. We have all of the skateboarders that were produced since 1999, not the 70s and 80s stuff. Um, we have most all of the concussion magazines, and we're just missing a couple of the thrashers from the dawn of time, 1981, when Thrasher was first birthed. This is what I'd call our back end. When we get a crate or two of a donation, it has to come in and get processed. We have to find out what's there, sort, organize, buy magazine, put them in order, and then I have to go to my computer and check all the different lists I have for each of the libraries that we're currently working with to see who needs what. Can't tell you how many shop owners I've talked to where once I tell them what I'm doing, they're like, oh, I wish you would have gotten with me last year or two months ago. We just had to throw out a bunch. And it's just like, ah, were there any 81 thrashers in there? Oh, they're rare. And it's hard to put a value on them if it's a person's mag that they saw for the first time in their life and they're still a skateboarder to this age. That has real value to that person. On some levels, the current state of print media, I'm discouraged when I see magazines that are cutting editorial content and um, just focusing on photo features all the time. A big connection for me and how I learned about travel and exploring other scenes came from reading Slap or Thrasher and the travel articles that they would feature. And, and I think that's sorely missing in today's media environment. We want it to be a community effort, you know. Whatever space a shop can set aside, I can fill that with magazines. Once the library is in place, bring in your old magazines that are sitting in your closet that you haven't looked at. Make them be a part of the library as well.